think our winter wood arrived in November. It was soaking through and it was weeks, months, months before the moisture level got down to an appropriate amount of moist. But before any of that, roll intro. Right, did you apply for your visas? Oh, there's too much paperwork. Got to get your health insurance sorted first. Okay. Yeah, just decided to pick up a chicken. And it decided to do a pool, pool all over my shorts. Good morning. From the southwest of France. It'd be great today. I think that's luck, isn't it? If you get pooed on by a chicken. A lot of love yesterday for Eupen Alberta, who drove down from Holland to come and see us yesterday. A lot of love in the comments. Yeah, great, isn't it? Um, last night we met uh, Deb and Andrew from Australia. Although Andrew's from uh, New Zealand. Same thing though, isn't it? <laughs> it's not. And apparently the New Zealanders get the right hump. <laughs> Especially Jack from growing in France. Oh, yeah, and talking of yeah, Jack and Bex from, from, from Growing in France, link in the description. We've been invited to, to their house on the, uh, on the 9th of August for a barbecue, I think. Anyway, you're looking forward to that. And so, um, yeah, so Deb and Andrew from Australia forward slash New Zealand have a holiday home um, in near to Champagne Mouton. And they also have a uh, holiday home in, in Italy. And so, uh, yeah, they're spending about what, yeah, five weeks over here. So, so we met them, had drinks in the, in the bar and champagne mouton last night. That was good. Full of English. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been to a place in another country. That's so full of English. Oh, apart from Benidorm, of course. That's full of Brits. <laughs> anyway, do you remember Ben and Kathy that came... Uh, few weeks ago. Well, Ben's dad, who owns the house in, in the Dordogne, he's coming to see us today. So uh, I don't think our social calendar has ever been as busy. Great though. Um, and Wednesday, Lisa is going back to the UK. The next day, our winter wood is arriving. So Colin from French Countryside Life, link in the description. He's come, he's come to help me pack it away. Why are you getting your winter wood in August, Rob? Why? Well, like last year, I think our winter wood arrived in November. It was soaking through. And it was weeks, months, months before the moisture level got down to an appropriate amount of moist. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that proved really, really difficult. So, you're learning from the mistakes. Order it now. When it's dry, get it stacked up. And it's all ready. Anyway, um, it is set to rain today and I need to finish off the bottom field. So uh, that's probably going to be next, but it may not be, but whatever next is, let's do it.
that lawn mowing was yesterday. And between then and now, Robbie and I have had our haircuts, you probably tell. Um, and we spent a lovely afternoon with uh, Dave and Siobhan. Known Dave since I was 12, he was uh, my mate's dad, Ben. One that you saw in the video in, in the door doing, uh, flipping Robbie into the water, into the lake. Yeah, we took him to, to Confalon. Yeah, yeah, Dave's been before. And uh, Anna Lou, which is a, a lovely little village where Daryl and Liz live. And it's got lovely paintings um, on the walls of shops and stuff like that. And it's got a public uh, wash area. I don't think it's in use anymore. But uh, it was very popular back in the day. Sunday today, so no outside work, uh, or any outside work that can make noise. I've been weeding today, of course I have. Anyway, who wants a mini veggie patch update? I know I do. Yeah, so the tomatoes are coming along. One's going orange. I think the beetroot's ready, so we've got some more growing. Yeah, so Lisa's having a tidy up of the, of the melon patch. I suppose that's what it's called, isn't it? So, right, so show me the melons. Uh, one here. Yeah. Where's the one I filmed yesterday? That's one I filmed yesterday. There's another one over there. They're everywhere. <laughs> Don't know whether you can see the tomatoes. They're there. Got some more tomatoes here, look. Loads of them. Gonna be inundated with tomatoes. So I've absolutely no idea what next is, but wherever next is, let's do that. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Right. 
I need to put some sun cream on today. It's going to be a hot one. Good morning. It's going to be a hot one today. It's going to go up to 36 degrees Celsius, which is uh, in the 90s. Yeah, that's why we came to the Charente. Who wants a fun French fact? Do you remember the, um, the children's nursery, nursery rhyme, Alouette? Alouette, gentil Alouette, Alouette, je te plomberai, je te plomberai la tête, je te plomberai la tête, je te plomberai le bec, je te plomberai le bec. Now, that's dark. Alouette is the French word for a lark, as in the bird. Gentil, as in kind or nice. So nice, nice lark. Je te plomberai is I'm going to pluck you. I'm going to pluck your head. Going to pluck your beak, and it goes on to say it's going to pluck every part of the lark's body. That's dark. Apparently, according to Google, so it must be true. Um, that song was introduced in the uh, in the 30s, 40s, um, when the British soldiers learned, learned of the song from the French soldiers, and then brought it back to England to sing to sing to the kids. Probably not realising that they're on about plucking a bird to death. <laughs> anyway, just so we're no different because we've got. Ring and ring of roses, pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all, we all fall down. That's not about the black, the plague, the black death, I think. <sighs> no idea what I'm going to do today. Probably not much, apart from just walk around t talking in the garden to you guys. Yeah, Lisa's um, off to friends with the kids this afternoon. I've got a meeting with uh, Emma about the top-up mutual, which I'm not sure that we're going to need if we're going to need private health insurance. Still waiting on people to respond back to us. Handholders et al. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Emma from uh, the insurance came round and uh, I sort of put my mind at ease. So she seems to think, from the research that she's just done, that the uh, that the letter that I got about um, La Chance Maladie uh, will be enough to uh, satisfy the requirements for the uh, titre de séjour, um, you know, the, for the 12-month visa. But if not, um, if I've not heard anything, now, now bear in mind, we're at the end of July, August, France sh shuts down. Because everyone goes on holiday, so you can have pretty much everything to run at snail's pace. No pun intended, that's cargo. Um, everything runs at snail pace. So, assuming that I'm not going to hear anything back and from the 2nd of September I won't have any sort of insurance. So what she can do is set up a healthcare insurance um, which will cover us at a basic level because we're only talking a couple of months um, which will cost around about two it will cost 240 euros per month up until um, well, and then it, it, that can turn into top-up mutual, which will take it back down to 151 euros a month, which is what we were originally quoted. So, if the carte de séjour people are not satisfied with the letter that I sent them around the l'assurance maladie, then I can take out this and this other insurance. It's going to cost me another 90 euros a month, and then send that off. And then it'll just turn up, turn into top up. At least that way, I'm not going to have to spend another 12 months on a policy that's going to cost me about 4,000 euros. So, yeah, it, 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 it was a good conversation. Right, so in short, if worst comes to the worst, around about the end of August, if I've not heard anything back, I'm going to take out this um, full-blown health insurance at £240 a month, send that to the car, just as your people, that will satisfy them, hopefully. Um, and while that's being processed, uh, yeah, just keep paying the 240 a month, and then once I get it, I can then um, just turn it into top up mutual because I'll have my cart for tell. Does that make sense? It does to me. So if you got this far, honestly, well done. Um, if you enjoy these videos, give us a thumbs up. Cost bugger all. Add a comment, especially if you've never added, added especially if you've never added a comment before. Love them. 
let me know where you are in the world. Um, Alaska. Got one from Alaska. Anyway, leaves one last thing left to say. It's not from me. And it's not from me. It's not from me either. What are we doing? Layers. 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 Layers.